Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is for CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, we're going to take a look at a chip stock. And in fact, TSM, Taiwan Semiconductor, the largest component in the SMH, which is the semiconductor holders. We're heading into earnings on the 13th. We have a pretty strong technical position here. I'm looking to do an earnings trade, which is uh, which is pretty fun. So first thing we're going to do is look at the trend of the market, which clearly is up. And many of the chips this year and even before, a very strong uptrend. The next thing I really like about this chart is you're seeing symmetry. There's obviously a trend, but the intervening pullbacks or the corrections to this trend are showing similarities. When you when you find that, that tends to be a market that is um, showing a lot of volatility and a lot of opportunity. So the depth of this correction is about three or four dollars and is the exact same depth of this correction. You can see the market is starting to respect this uptrend. We are going to lean against that support right around the $35 level to establish a long position. The other thing that I like about this is, which, uh, which is very common heading into earnings, is the implied volatility is very high. As the stock approaches a big economic event like earnings, the option prices are, are really jacked up. And that's going to be the same for puts and calls. So options get very expensive because it's a binary event. There's possibility of great movement outside of what markets ex normally see in terms of movement around a big event like earnings. So you can see that the implied volatility got very expensive here and here and here and here just about every quarter, which is heading into earnings. You can take advantage of the expensive implied volatility, which means options are both, uh, both puts and calls are very expensive, coupled with our bullish bias. So if we want to express a bullish bias heading into earnings, we can use the high price of the puts to sell those puts. And what will happen is the morning after earnings, the implied volatility, regardless of the outcome of the earnings, will come out and the value of puts and calls will drop very sharply. That's why you really don't want to be long options going into earnings because even if you're right directionally, the value of those options will collapse because implied volatility is coming out. So we can use that to our advantage. So I want to lean against this support level right around the $35 mark. I'm going to cap our risk down to the 34 mark. So I'm going to go out to the next option series, which is 11 days out. Usually I like to cuddle it right up against the, the earnings announcement on the 13th, but this is all um, that we have available to us. So we're going to go 11 days out, sell 35 put, buy the 34. We're going to take in 35 cents of credit and we're going to risk 65 cents. So we have a skewed reward to risk ratio, but keep in mind, we have a great, pretty good margin below us. Um, for support or for comfort um, before we start to hit a loss in the trade. We have a high probability of success, which is why we have the skewed reward to risk ratio. So we're going to go ahead and take in 35 cents of credit. We will be risking 65 cents. This is an all or none trade, guys. So be sure to accept the risk of 65 cents heading into this. It's not like you can put a stop loss in after hour. So you're in. No stop loss on this. That's the earnings trade for TSM. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation. Updates to this trade post earnings as well as all the other markets our traders are watching. And we'll see you guys on the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.